Come with me in a day in a life of a girl trying to open up a bakery. So clearly, I am a home baker still, and the house is a mess. So we are going to take the time to clean it up. I had so many orders, and I had to go out and buy a whole bunch of different supplies because these weren't the supplies that I normally use. Um, so I had to go out and buy a whole bunch of new stuff because I was in a different state. So here I am just cleaning up, um, packing away all the dishes in the dishwasher, washing, and getting things together for the orders for the next day. So now I'm going to the grocery store to pick up a couple items that I needed for some more um, treats. Uh, here I'm home, the house is clean now, and I'm just packing away all the ingredients um, here. Um, getting all of my ingredients together so that I can start prepping um, for all the orders that are for the weekend. So this is gonna be a new series for me on my TikTok and I'm just trying to figure out what exactly I wanna do. Um, I am just going to be pretty much posting all of the information that I get as far as trying to open up a bakery because I've been doing research after research after research and I cannot find really any type of information um, as far as what to do, what not to do, how to do it, when to do it, when I shouldn't do it, how I should go about it and how I shouldn't go about it. Every um, county in every state is going to be different. I am going to be located in Maryland. So I am going to be helping out the people looking to open up bakeries either in Maryland um, or in the, I guess the DMV area. Or if you find my content informational, you can always reach out and send me a DM, a DM on whatever it is that you may need help with. That's what I'm here for, right? So. In this process, I am going to be pretty much walking you through every single step that I am going through. Because when I look at TikTok and I look on YouTube and everything else, um, it's not it's not that much information out there that some people are given, especially when it comes to open up a commercial space. So when it comes to opening up a commercial space, it's a lot of things that goes into it. And boy, did I not know how hard it was, okay? Like, I didn't think it was going to be this difficult. I just didn't. Like, I knew it would be some trial and error and everything like that, but I didn't think it was just a whole process of what you have to go through step by step. So, I'm going to be taking you guys with me so that it's easier for you when you guys are ready to take the next step into opening up your commercial space. Um, so here, these are just cookies that I'm making, um, and I'm adding some dried strawberries to them just to enhance the flavor to the, um, the cookies. So within this process, because, um, I've been eyeing my, this place for a couple of years now, and I've been doing other research as far as looking into other spaces and, you know, trying to figure out what's a good area what's the traffic like what's the rent like because that's most important what the utilities is like what the foot traffic is like um and all of that stuff right so this particular place that i found or came across that i've been kind of having my eye on for the last four years it's been vacant for a long time now um it was an old um dairy queen and uh yeah so I am pretty much going to be taking this space over and I just want you guys to be there every step of the way um, and don't hesitate to ask whatever questions. Okay. I'm not here to gatekeep because obviously I'm making this content for y'all. So I, I feel like I should gatekeep because when it came to me, it seems like nobody wanted to really help with information. So um, just kind of doing the research on your own and Googling every single thing and TikTok and every single thing and, and um, you know, trying to ask certain questions um, just to make sure that you're doing everything by the book in the right and correct way is a little, you know, a little challenging. But 
um we're gonna get through this okay we're gonna get through this and i'm gonna uh help y'all as much as i possibly can so here's part one in a day of a in a life of trying to open up a bakery i'll see you guys in part two